Alright, so what is going on guys? Welcome to another Garden Warfare 2 video. Today is another Top 5 Characters video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Top 5 Electric slash Power Character Variants. Now in Garden Warfare 2, there are 8 in total, so we're going to be taking a look at the Top 5 today. Let me know in the comments down below what your Top 5 Power Variants, and also what Top 5 you would like to see next week. But anyway, let's get straight in with today's video. So at number 5 we have the Power Cactus, not really played this character too much in Garden Warfare 2, I've only promoted her to Specialist, but she is a really good character, the damage she can do is really good, she has a very quick rate of fire, probably one of the only downsides to the Power Cactus is that she only has 10 bullets, so of course that means you're going to need to reload more, and that's when you're going to be vulnerable to attacks from the zombies. But one thing which makes the Power Cactus so good is because she deals so much damage and she's very accurate. If you have a group of zombies together and you have large characters like Super Brains or the All Star or even an Imp when he's in his mech, that's going to chain between all of the zombies and because Power Cactus is very accurate, you're going to be able to land more shots on the zombies and hopefully get yourself more vanquishes. So the number 5 spot is taken by the Power Cactus. The number 4 spot is taken by the Electrician. Now I'm sure a lot of you are aware, I'm not a huge fan of the Engineer characters. I tend to use my stars with the fish in the sewers on characters like the Chomper or the Engineer because I just don't really like playing as the majority of the Engineers and some of the Chompers. But the Electrician is an exception when we're taking a look at the top 5 power characters. The Electrician has a huge splash damage and also does a lot of damage if you do get yourself a direct hit. So because of the huge splash damage, it's going to be easier to attack the plants and if there's a group together, you're going to be able to chain that damage throughout all of the plants and hopefully get yourself a few vanquishes. I know something that people used to do in private matches, I tried it once myself, was you set a private match to only sunflowers and you go as the electrician and because of the damage and also the chain reaction you kind of damaged all of the sunflowers at the same time because they're trying to heal each other and you could get yourself a lot more vanquishes. I think the developers have changed how private matches work now so it's not as effective but I know a lot of people used that method to try and rank up in the game especially if there was no one that was on to play with them. Also because you can stun at your enemies you are going to be able to hit them a lot easier with a direct impact and therefore deal a lot more damage to any surrounding plants. So the number 4 spot is taken by the Electrician. The number 3 spot is taken by the Physicist. Now as more scientists are designed, you're going to get right close to the plants and deal a high amount of damage. And that is why the Physicist is such a good character, especially if you can sneak behind a lot of the plants. They tend to group together when they're in their own base. So for example, if they're trying to protect a garden in gardens and graveyards and you can sneak behind them, you're going to be able to deal a lot of damage to one individual plant, take them out, but you're also going to be chaining some of that damage to the surrounding plants. So that means that as soon as they realize you're there, they may already be on half health. So that means you should hopefully be able to take them out very easily as well. Now with the Physicist, I don't tend to think of this as much of a power character as some of the other ones. You know when you play as the Electrician, you're going to be a bit further back when you attack them, so you're going to hope that them chain reactions are going to deal a lot of damage. With a Physicist, I don't exactly feel the same way. It is useful, but I mainly focus on the damage that the Physicist deals anyway, rather than the chained damage between characters. But that's one thing which I did just want to mention. But the number 3 spot is taken Taken by the physicist. The number two spot is taken by the Electro Citron. This was not a very good character when the game first came out. The damage for the single shots was low, the charge shots were fine, but the single shot damage wasn't very good. That, however, has been increased dramatically, and the charge shots have reduced in damage a little bit, but it's still enough to take out an imp with a fully charged shot if you do get a critical hit. So that is one of the reasons why the Electro Citron is so good. If you're annoyed with those pesky imps, charge up your shot all the way. If you get a direct hit, you should take them out, even if they are on 75 health. 
Also, another thing which makes the Electro Citron so good is because he's a tank, he's got 200 health, you can go charging in to the zombies, they're probably all going to crowd around you, try and take you out, and that is when you can also deal a lot of damage between all of the zombies. You may get taken out, but you're most likely going to be getting some kind of assured vanquish or a lot of assists from that. But just in general anyway, the Electro Citron single shot is very, very powerful, even at long range. So you tend to get certain people playing as the Electro Citron at medium to long range, trying to pick off those zombies that are walking around. And of course, if it's an objective game mode and there are a lot of zombies on an objective and you're quite far away dealing that damage, you're actually going to do a lot of damage to all of the zombies. So the number two spot is taken by the Electro Citron. And the number one spot is taken by the Electro P. This character is absolutely insane, especially if you're very accurate with the character and combine that with using Hyper. This character can take out so many zombies, it is mind-blowing. I personally didn't think he needed a buff in the last character balancing. I thought he was perfectly fine the way he was, but he's a very good character. And like the physicist, it's one of those characters where you don't necessarily just try and rely on chaining that damage between zombies because he's that powerful anyway. If you detonate your ammo as the Electro P and it is right next to the zombie, it will deal 30 damage. A direct hit will deal even more. So that damage alone makes this character so, so good. But like me who plays a lot of objective game modes, if there's a lot of zombies crowding together, First off, it's a lot easier to hit the targets because there's more targets to hit, so if you hit one of them, that's going to chain damage to them all. Also, if you do a detonated splash damage in between all of the zombies, that could potentially deal 30 damage to all of the zombies, plus the chained damage as well, and that is one of the reasons why this character is so, so good. But like I did say, when I play this character, I don't rely on the chained damage between zombies, I focus on just the damage that the Electro P does anyway. Splash damage could do potentially 30 damage if you detonate it, and direct hits can do even more, and that's why this character is ridiculous. But there we go guys, there is my top 5 power characters, I know people was probably expecting the Electro Brains in this list, but People just seem to snipe with it all the time, and I personally don't enjoy that kind of playstyle, and I just don't enjoy the Super Brains anyway, and of course it's my opinion, I just don't enjoy that character, so that's why he's not on the top 5. Power Flow is very good, it's just, it's not as good in multiplayer, but Garden Ops is a very good character, and uh, the Power Chomper... Well, we kind of know how bad that character is. So, there we go. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you do give it a like down below. My name is Zero Exfusions, and hopefully, I'll catch you guys next time.